the Joe Rogan experience. Must one work out every day? Isn't that must part of it Must one work too? out every day. Yeah. One must work out. One must burn 500 calories in a workout every single day, seven days a week, 365 days. Well, 60. Uh, what 30. Hap- 30 days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already I'm expanding. <laughs> So what, isn't it? Is there a contest about who can burn the most calories? No, we're not doing that because no. we go crazy. Yeah. The problem with contests is they absorb your whole life. Yeah. And everybody except Ari has a family and obligations and jobs and right. podcasts and different things they have to do. Just uh, we did it one year the contest and it was pretty obvious halfway in that we were fucked. Because I remember you got behind and then you just powered through. And came from behind with like some crazy workouts. Well, I was never really behind. I mean, I might have been behind for like a day. It was though in the beginning we were trying to figure out how much we were going to burn, you know, because we were using this my zones thing. So it's like you wear a chest strap, and the chest strap gives you points uh, with the application for however many minutes you are at eighty percent of your max heart rate. Versus 90% of your max heart rate, I think 90s, two points, 80s, one, or something like that. Yeah. And Ari figured out that you could watch TV while you were doing cardio. So he watched movies on an iPad uh-huh. while he's doing cardio. Yeah. And he ra- ran up a big number, like 400 in a day. We were like, fuck. Uh-huh. That's a big number. That was like two movies. Yeah. And so then we really started getting crazy. And then one day I did 1,100 points. I did seven hours of cardio. No shit. Yeah. yeah. Mostly what, running? No, mostly elliptical machine. Because uh-huh. you could watch movies. Yeah. So I watched John Wick like 50 times. <laughs> I, I, kept, I kept rewinding it to the scene in the bathhouse where he kills everybody. It's just because so adrenaline filled, you can keep going. Yeah. I watched some fights. I watched a bunch of shit. And it's like, it just got too crazy. Yeah. We were losing our minds. Right. We were really losing our minds. We were talking a lot of shit to each other. Uh-huh. And Tom got sick. Tom got the flu. And then the day he got better from the flu, he ran 13 miles. No shit. The day he got better, he ran 13 miles through his neighborhood, through the hills. Damn. That's yeah, different we were... than a treadmill. 13 Fuck, miles yeah, on the is. street is like. That's real. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we went crazy. Yeah. And like if that kept going, imagine if we had it for like six months. We had a fitness contest for six months, and at the end of six months, you win like a million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could have got a sponsor for that. Easy. Yeah. The problem is it would become your whole life. Right. You, we would go crazy. All right. And Bert would die. Bert would for sure have a heart attack. Or yeah. he would just be content coming in last like he did last time. He talked a lot of shit and came in last. He did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like a it seems like a great idea for your men. Like for me, working out is just for my head. I don't even give a shit. I mean, this body I was naturally born with. It's a gift. Congratulations. But my brain, if I work out, man, I just feel happy. And if I don't, I get depressed. So one of the things we talked about, Tom and I talked about specifically, was that when you do a lot of cardio in a day, like four hours of cardio in a day, he goes, all the internal chatter just goes away. Yeah. I go, yeah, it's like... There's no negative talk. Yeah. There's no like anxiety and angst. And I really wonder how much of that that people walk around with all day could be fixed with cardio. It could be fixed with like rigorous exercise. You know, and they say um they say weightlifting helps anxiety too. They say strength training does. But uh for me it's like cardio. Cardio seems to put me in this place where it just is like whatever. Who gives a fuck? It's just like a, just a really peaceful, it like balances out what's really important to think about and worry about versus like things that are just sort of bouncing around your head. You don't know if I should pay attention to that one or that one and mm. like, what should I freak out about the most?